Hello, 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 hello. I am in my brand new-ish renovated house. This is it, and I'm gonna give you a little tour tonight so that you guys can see. It's not finished, it's definitely not finished. But um, a normal size again, I am Olivia, although um, I don't know if normal size cuts it. I'm kind of putting on the beef a little bit. Mrs. HGP's cooking is a little bit too good. So how is everybody tonight? Are you all in lockdown around the world? Are you all sitting in, having not seen anybody real apart from on YouTube for the last nine months? Um, I'm lucky. Covid hasn't actually affected my business or my work very much at all. But right, what I'm going to do is I am going to flip this camera around about Sam Greenway. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, and you, oh, nice tractor. If it's if it ain't red, keep it in the shed. Um, yeah, YouTube busting. Yeah, that's exactly. I've been doing Covid before it was cool. <laughs> I don't know if Covid ever will be cool. Right, guys, I'm going to show you. The, probably the internet of Wigtown, yeah, it probably was. Um, here is the house. I'm going to turn you around. So we are definitely not finished, guys. As you can see, there are no worktops yet in the house. But there will be in days' time. I am going to clean that. There will be in about 10 days' time. So as you can see, there is a huge difference. So there's not three ovens, by the way. There's an oven, a microwave, and an oven. This is all going to be concrete, 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 concrete worktops all around here. On the video, the kitchen probably doesn't look very big, but I can promise you, this kitchen is massive. Say hello, Steve. Say hello. Yes, everybody can see you. Mia. <laughs> so this is the kitchen. There was walls there, I ripped it down. All of this will be finished in 10 days time. There's still cookers to go in there, sinks, hobs. Uh, that's an extractor fan. This is our dining room now. Uh, if you guys saw Craig kicking in this arch, you'll know it is very, very different to um, what it did look like. Uh, fireplace, it's actually the old fireplace, but it got completely renovated by Mrs. Hoof GP. And she actually made that garland all by her very self. How cool is that? Beautiful dogs, they are beautiful dogs, aren't they? So this is the dining room. As I said, there are loads and loads of bits missing still. We are um, waiting on loads of furniture being delivered, but this is the living room, obviously, by my TV. Somebody's been watching her TV. Um, and the Christmas tree is up. It is actually, Bigger than it looks, funnily enough. So that is the living room, dining room, kitchen. There are room for 49 bottles in there. So, yes, actually, you should be sorted. Those radiators are ace, aren't they? Yeah, you like my dogs? They're cool, aren't they? Um, we were going to put a big glass kind of radiator thing up there, but we decided not to. As you can see, we have gone for light because my mood gets affected by light a lot. So this is what I've been doing all of today and yesterday and why there's no video up tonight because I've been busy. This is going to be the dressing room. So I was building this, yes, I do other things other than hoof tying. And this is gonna be a kind of walk-in wardrobe. That was the bathroom. This is now the bathroom. Um, yep, big egg bath thing. Two dogs. It's looking different, isn't it? Look at that, his and her sinks, except it's his and his, Kears and Campbell's. Yeah, the tub's cool, isn't it? I like it. Oh, at like the bedroom, there's no bed, there's no furniture, there's no nothing, apart from um, a mattress, pretty much. So this will be our bedroom once there's a big shiny bed thing here. Look, that's what you should all have on your TV right now. Well, not right now, because you're watching this, but yeah, you know. This was a horrible bathroom, and now it is a sexy ensuite type bathroom thing. See, still needs finish, there's stuff missing there. Yeah, we slept on the floor for months. Yeah, we're sleeping there for the next 10 days or so. Hopefully not much longer than that anyway. I can take you down, the boys are sleeping, but I can't show you the boys are in there. And this is the messy room, which Mrs. H people will not be happy. Look at that. Yeah, I'll turn it around. 
I like the tiles as well, Christine. Those tiles, yeah, we like them a lot. Although the tiler charged us an absolute fortune to put them in. Two days, like $3,000, £2,200. Mental. How is everybody? When's the housewarming party? Says George. Well, oh, fire around any time, George. Posh. <laughs> Posh is probably not um, something I've been called before. It's a very big change, isn't it, Jay? Ask me some questions, guys. I haven't done lives in ages, and there have been less videos um, because of this house getting done. So I'm very, very sorry about that. Normal, um, normal service shall resume very, very soon. Did I miss the part where you show us your editing stuff? Stephen, you didn't because I didn't really show it. Um, right now, it's not set up. I am planning a really nice studio, actually. Uh, there's a new desk coming, but the desk doesn't come for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to get some new monitors and kind of go all out on the edit and stuff. I love editing, although it does take a long time, but still love it. Um, love your channel. Can I come work with you, says Josh. Unfortunately not, Josh. I do get lots of people ask, and the people who I know in the industry, who are hoof trimmers, sometimes I do bring them along for the ride because it's really good to do. Um, where's your daughter, Linda Fryer? Oh, how do you know I have a daughter? Mm, that's a tough one. Let's not answer that question. Uh, let's have a look at your mug. <laughs> uh, it's my favourite mug. Yeah, it's in reverse anyway. Hi, Esther from Italy. How are you? Hello in Indonesia. Mark Moore, how are you? Looks awesome, mate. Cheers, Paul. Thank you. Time for gingerbread coffee. Gingerbread coffee is off the cards. Didn't you read that? Didn't you watch the last um, video? £500 for um, gingerbread lattes on on eBay. What's that all about? Look, here's the future. I think it's in reverse, but it's cinnamon bun lattes. It's like Christmas in a cup. Tai Chi. Congrats, James. Thank you very much, Peter. Slow down, slow down. Right, questions guys. What is your favorite color? It is orange, something bright, so orange. That's why all my hoodies and hats and everything like that, merch-wise, there's orange on all of them. Um, all good. Um, it's not in reverse. Good, good, it's just reverse for me. Wow, super bro progress, says Nebula. I can't help, but you must be thrilled. Can't help, feel bad. You have no catch in us yet. Yeah, mother actually, she owns a coffee shop. Um, she has been in some videos. But she appeared down with takeaway tonight, so we still ate. It's fine, it's fine. I could do with a diet anyway, to be fair. How big is your garden, says Gemma. Uh, my garden is huge. My garden is about two and a half acres. So, what's that? Five football pitches, round about. Um, do you have a mud room, says Yo Clark. I don't have a mud room, but what we're doing is we are extending that way. So this will be completely different. There's going to be gym and a mudroom and office, a new office out there. But right now we're going to build a mudroom kind of thing in one of the sheds so that I can be clean before I come in the house. <coughs> 874 and only 237 of you have liked it. What's going on? Can I have your dogs? Well, Mrs. HGP would like to have this one, Steve. Come here. Look. This one is stupid. This one's perfect, but this one's, uh, yeah, a bit stupid. Evening, fella. Evening, Andrew Fife Farman. Take it, you're up in Fife. Oh, no, you're not, obviously. Um, get yourself down to Northumberland. Got some Ling Cows for you to trim up. Haha, <laughs> Ling Cows. I'm sure they're nice and quiet as well, aren't they? Yes, he is married, Tracy. Uh, Audrey, that's a farm, right? Uh, not quite. Hello, I watch you all of the time. Thanks very much, Donna. It's nice of you. Hello from Longview, Washington. Washington. What time is it in Washington right now? Must be like four o'clock? I'm gonna go with four o'clock. Hey, Moo. Greeting, greetings from Germany. Hello, Peter, how are you? Um, would that cross my mind? Do you have TikTok? I do have TikTok, actually, but... Um, uh, my sense of humour is probably too dry, too dry for uh, TikTok, so I haven't uploaded too much. Loved it when you were in Wisconsin. So did we, Kim. We will be back this year. 100% we will be back in Wisconsin. Um, there's no doubt about it. Condo in Irvine, CA. Irvine in California is obviously different to Irvine in Scotland then. Good evening. House looking good. Thanks very much, Ant. Are you going to build the puppets a space? The puppets? What puppets? Uh, hello from NC. Who are you going to visit in WI? You, Aaron. 
Hello Aaron, Aaron Lavoie is watching guys, if you haven't checked out his channel, go and check it out and give Aaron a huge congratulations because his beautiful daughter just had a gorgeous little baby and his other beautiful daughter just got engaged. Well done and congratulations Aaron. Hello from Belgium, tell Mrs Swift GP she did a beautiful job on the mantelpiece, she did didn't she? Um, that's actually just stone, it was marble before and she painted it so it looks like stone. Love the videos, autism and ferreting. <laughs> Do autism and ferreting go together well? Ferreting's a good sport, kind of. And to know, oh God, there's a lot of you. There is a lot of you tonight. Hi Linda, you're just great and energetic. Thanks very much Bertram. I'm not energetic all of the time. Um, sometimes I sleep. Roger and Pierre. What is the total length of service in veterinary medicine? I'm not in veterinary medicine. I am a professional hoof trimmer. Uh, and I have been trimming for 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. How are the boys? The boys are fast asleep, Shala. They are in their beds. Um, they have been for quite a while and that is why I'm doing the video now because they are like, yeah, crazy running about my feet. They've, they've got dirt bikes. So they've been out in the dirt bikes all afternoon um, and they're shattered. Uh, so nice, love what you've done to it. Oh, thanks very much, Sherry. Have you been watching the renovation work? Oh, you have been. I'm um, so glad the video is working. Me too, Susan. Um, sorry about the other one. <laughs> Hi, Graham Professional Hoof Trimmer. Hello, Cindy Moomba. Why do you have three ovens? Everybody asks why I have three ovens. I don't have three ovens. I have uh, an oven, sorry, an oven, then a microwave and a heating cupboard oven type thing, and then another oven over there. What people don't know about me is the sheep game, four ninety nine. <laughs> Kami, 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 four ninety nine for a shout out. Come on, up your bed. I'm, I'm only joking. Uh, the sheep game has just uh, given us a super chat for four ninety nine, and Kami has a channel which is absolutely awesome. Um, go and check out the sheep game straight after this. The sheep game. Kami is awesome. He did crash a drone into a sheep the other day, but we'll forgive him for that. Um, yeah, yeah. It's go and check out the sheep game. Uh, did you have your crush ship from the US? Yes, I did, Jay, um, from Wisconsin, actually, in February. What else are you guys saying? Uh, I love your dry humour. Cheers, Cindy. Uh, I have to edit out a lot of the humour of my videos, by the way, because a lot of it's maybe not quite PC or um, child-friendly. Hello, hard-working man. Not all the time. Uh, I get a sense that you would excel at anything you put your hand to. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The three ovens. So, a lot of people don't know this. I absolutely love cooking. Like, really love it. I don't do it very often, but when I do, I like to go all out. So, when we made this kitchen, I wanted it to be like a chef's kitchen. So, all of the side units are going to be concrete finished um, quartz. We have professional appliances everywhere that will be a professional extractor so that I can go to town on cooking. So Aaron, when you come over here, I can cook for you properly. Um, can we get a demo on how the crush does and what it can do? I should probably do a more in-depth thing on the crush, shouldn't I? Look out for that video, I will do it very soon. I'm going to start being a bit more um, versatile with the videos. So we're going to change it up and do some different things. Covid restrictions are starting to go a little bit more relaxed, or at least they will be in the next month or two, so I am hoping to do way, way, way more stuff. Um, I had loads planned for this year, but it didn't go ahead because of this. Um, Markiplier has more ovens than you. <laughs> Who's Markiplier? Nice, it will look awesome. Thank you, Daniel. Um, do you love... Do your loves and hates with the crush? I should, shouldn't I? I do have some hates. I've got more loves and hates. Is your brother ever in any of your videos? He's been in two of my videos, I think. He actually lives a few hundred miles from me, so I don't get to see him very much. Did you get a new merch supplier, says Brendan? Kinda. Um, so merch has been like a kinda sore topic, should we say. I have had hundreds and hundreds, probably, yeah, over a thousand messages probably about merchandise that we are not supplying right now because our supplier couldn't keep up before and it was giving us so many headaches I didn't want to let anyone down so we just stopped um, but yes, normal service on that will be re um, resuming soon as well Oh I know, you're having a Robbie Burns dinner planned Save me some haggis Ah, we have fire on his sonsy face Robbie Burns is Scotland's national poet 
he was a bit of a lad back in the day as well. Uh, congratulations on new house. Thank you, Lauren. Congratulations on being Lauren. How are the plans for the GP trimming school going? Oh, uh, life is so busy right now. Nothing has really come to fruition on that. We've not really stepped forward or back, but what I will tell you is I have been working on a very, very big project now for the last two months, three months, two and a half months. And if the guys who I'm working with on that project are watching this, I'm really sorry because I'm behind on it. Um, I've missed another deadline, but I will get back onto it. I can't tell you what that big project is, but you will find out in about a month's time. It's pretty huge. Um, how's COVID cases there? We don't really have COVID here. Not many at all. Uh, hardly any. How's Gracie doing this these days? Gracie is doing fantastic, actually. Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, a lot depends on if Trump can pull this election out of the grips of the crooks. Hope you will be able to come to the land of the free. Me too, Jay. Me too. Uh, Sam Donison, how are your dog? I love them. And are you getting yourself ready for Christmas? So we've got a few decorations, but because the kitchen's not finished, the decorations are not up properly. We are a big Christmas household. We absolutely love it. Let's hear your um, let's hear your American accent. Hey Joe, how's it going? Do I sound a little bit American from the South? Maybe, maybe not. I'm probably better talking in my Scottish accent. I should speak in a proper, proper Scottish brogue, shouldn't I? Um, and let's see how many people would understand me then. <laughs> um, have family in Scotland and hope to visit again in 2022 from Michigan. Uh, hi Tara, hi Marty. Who is Gracie? Gracie is cow 812 mini. Um, you need to watch more videos if you don't know who Gracie is. Where is the laundry room? Um, there is no laundry room. Uh, all of these units have integrated appliances, so everything's hidden away so that nobody sees it. So things are in here, and we've got dishwashers. So we don't have to do anything, you see? Although Mrs. HGP might get a little bored, eh? So what do people want to see in my up and coming videos? Do you want to see just more gruesome hoofs? Do you want to see fantastic hoofs? Do you want to see more about the Scottish countryside? Anything in particular? Andrew Robb, hello Graham from Kirkcaldy. Ah, my brother and sister-in-law live in Kirkcaldy. Are you watching? Uh, yup, where's your fridge? My fridge is right there, look. Well, we've actually got a few fridges, but there's one there. And then there's another one down there. And then there's another one outside. So yeah, we've got, we've got fridges. Please tell Mrs. HVP she has wonderful taste. Um, I know I'm handsome, aren't I? No, I know you mean the house. I know you mean the house, I'm definitely not handsome. Um, bloopers. The bloopers are all X-rated, Amy. So uh, <laughs> you have seen some bloopers before, but you didn't really see the majority of them because they have some um, colorful language. What are you saying? Hi, my name is Libby. I'm from England. Hello, Libby. Uh, Rachel Stutt. Love the one where you did the coastline with your brother. Actually, Martin, the guy in one of the last videos was talking about that video. That is one of my favourite videos of all time. It's like sitting on the edge of a 300 foot cliff or something it's called. And yeah, that's my one of my favourite videos anyway. Uh, I have a question. Should I trim all the overgrown hoofs before I dry them off or would they be okay until springtime? No, they're not okay until springtime. <laughs> Trim them straight away, uh, because if they are overgrown, they're overgrown for a reason. There's something wrong there. Uh, and if there isn't, there will be very soon. Hi from Wisconsin. Yeah, Look, say hello. Hi. Oh, she's hiding. She's not gonna make up on, I don't think. All of them, <laughs> I'm not even reading that out. <laughs> hello from Ireland, cool house, thank you very much. Uh, no, they're not okay until springtime park. <laughs> Sorry, Audrey, was that a bit blunt? No, no, if they are overgrown at all, you should be doing it straight away. How long does your editing videos usually take? <sighs> Most videos are around eight hours or so. So some will be five, some will be 12. Um, so yeah, eight, nine hours is the main thing. Maybe you could do a collab with your missus. What's for tea? We had, we had Southern Fried Chicken from my mother's coffee shop, actually. Uh, hello, wonderful world. Hello, Mrs. HGP. Hello, Mrs. HGP. No, it was funny. Uh, oh, I spy Tom P. 
by Tom P. Here. I don't see him. He better not be hiding. Um, oh, or is he in the comments? It could be. Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm watching from York. My family are originally from York, Kayleys. Uh, well, not from York, from Malton actually, which is just down the road from you guys. Uh, nine them out to be precise. Hi, Tom. Hi. Any content is fine, uh, but especially keep doing drone shots. I love the drone shots. Well, unless Craig crashes it, obviously. Honoured guest, Tom P. Tom, are you totally lighting up all my comments? Get off. He's just trying to flog his merch again, which I've got loads of, by the way. TP merch for the win. Uh, hi, hi in Canada. I want to to go to agricultural school here in Italy and they didn't teach us about hoof trimming. Thank you for your education. How can they not teach you about hoof trimming when you go to agricultural school? That's madness. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Tom Pembert, if you haven't checked him out already, Tom Pembert and Farm Life is like the best agricultural YouTube channel there is in the world. It's not all about Millennial Farmer. Well, it is, he's good too. But Tom's is a real, real down to earth and exactly, he is exactly what it says on the tin. Couldn't be more so. Great guy. Oh, I just give him a compliment, I hate that. Hi, I'm watching you from Luxembourg. Your content is so satisfying and relaxing. Do you know when I'm editing videos, what happens is people say, oh, how do you edit a video? What do you do? Well, it's not actually how I do it, as in I use Adobe Premiere, but that doesn't matter. If I get bored watching my videos, then I just change it. I'll cut it all out. If there's something that took me ages and ages to film, I'm really proud of it, but I get bored watching it, then I'll just cut it out. I think that's, uh, that's kind of been my ethos the whole way along, and it's done me fairly well. Uh, can you give me any advice? One of my heifers won't walk. I could, but I don't know why she won't walk. We have to see her properly, obviously. Send me a picture, a day in the life, send me a picture of your heifer or a video of her walking to my Facebook page, The Hoof TP. Ah, TP merch. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, could they get corkscrew foot from overgrowth? Um, no, not really. Corkscrew claw, which is when a claw twists and turns and contorts like that, is usually caused when heifers are pushing against a fence. And basically they have ligaments and then kind of structural material inside their foot. That collapses and allowed the pedal bone to roll over. So they've probably been pushing too hard at a foot fence. Foot fence? Food fence. Or it's hereditary, which is less common. Uh, when do you next see Cow812? I will probably see her in seven days' time. Um, but I don't always film her. I like to check in on her, but don't always film her. What's on offer at the co-op? What was on offer at the co-op? Gingerbread dairy milk, apparently. Really? We've got profeta rolls, win. We've got whole nut dairy milk, win. Maltesers and <gasps> gingerbread dairy milk. They've been watching HGP. Gingerbread, anything gets my vote, to be honest. Guys, I'm going to wrap this up pretty soon. You guys are throwing in loads of, um, what are they called? Uh, super chats. I'm missing them all because you're messaging so much. So thank you very much, Eradica. That was very kind of you, indeed. Thank you. Uh, thank you to. Kaylee SS, Romulan Spy, thank you very much indeed, but you don't need to send them at all. Uh, Rube, what? Rube, what's a Rube? What is the name of the pads of cows over the hoofs? Um, so you want to look up Bovi Bond Blocks. Bovi, B-O-V-I, Bond, B-O-N-D. So Bovi Bond Blocks, and you'll find exactly what you're looking for. <sighs> Can you share some old photos or videos from your first learning to trim. Well, funnily enough, I was looking through them just the other day, actually. Um, I have photographs of the very first course that I attended with Peter Klosterman years and years ago, and they're pretty cool photos, actually, because he's wearing a string vest and a pair of wooden clogs. Um, your music video mix. Yeah, oh, yeah, you like that one, do you? Um, no, don't, I love this line. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you as well, Mitzi, or Mizzy. Uh, Merry Christmas in Ohio morning from Tokyo. Wow, Tokyo. I would love to go to Tokyo. Are cows hoofs similar to horses? Yes and no. The immediate answer most people would give are no, because horses only have one digit. 
cows have too, so they're cloven. But the interior anatomy is kind of similar, but different, um, how do I put this? Different sizes and different angles. So could I trim a horse's foot? Probably, would I? No, definitely not. Um, what does Mrs. HCP do for a living? She is a professional hoof. No, she's not really. She is a professional hairdresser, but she pretty much works with me, not for me. We work together. She is a partner in the business and she does all the paperwork. Um, when was your first time you ever trimmed hoofs? I had a go when I was 18 years old. So that is 20 years ago, but I didn't really do much there at all. Um, yeah, so I started properly as a professional hoof trimmer 10 years ago. Uh, long, long may your long reek. <laughs> That's a Scottish saying. Thanks, Chrissy. Uh, good afternoon from Texas. Good afternoon to you as well, Peggy. What is your most trickiest cow you've ever had to work on? Um, sadly, some of them are unfixable. Um, we don't get many, but we definitely do get some, and it'd be hard to explain it, but I definitely will show them because it's important to show those as well and to discuss and talk about what's best to do in a cow or for a cow that has an unfixable foot, but it definitely does happen. Just the same as it happens in humans, sometimes people get ailments that are unfixable and it's not anybody's fault, it just happens. What else? Sending love all the way from London in, Ca in Canada. Wow, Canada, long, long way from here. South Dakota here, who gives thumbs down for this wonderful guy? It's probably my wife actually, to be fair, Lisa. Uh, nice kitchen, what do you use? to colour your beard. <laughs> Scotland Unplugged is my, <laughs> I just realised who that is. <laughs> Scotland Unplugged says, nice kitchen, what do you use to colour your beard? That is my eldest brother, Bob. <laughs> Scotland Unplugged, if you want to see what he looks like, go and check out his channel. Just click on his name and it'll pop up. Scotland Unplugged, um, he's an idiot. Uh, here in Northern Michigan, love watching you on YouTube. Thank you very much, Jordan, very kind of you. There's 863 people. Click okay. like right now if you want to. Don't have to, but it would be nice if you did. Uh, your football team. What football team do you support? I don't really support football, but if I was going to have to pick anyone, it would be Glasgow Rangers, probably. Okay. Um, the sibling shade. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's terrible, isn't it? I told him I was going to get a car, and he gave it instantly gave it a new nickname, or said I was talking about getting a new car, and he instantly gave it a new nickname, and now I could never buy that car because it's all I would be thinking about. Your dog has a great name, Stevie. <laughs> yeah, Steve. Uh, Ikea is just 15 minutes from me. Do you, did you always want to be a hoof trimmer? It says Karen. No, I wanted to be a farmer when I was little. Um, and after that, I kind of wanted to run nightclubs and things like that, be a restaurateur, which I did for quite a while. Um, but this is easily my favorite career. Absolutely love it. Will never, ever change. Do you have a gingerbread candle? No, I don't actually. Can you get them? We'd love to see. What's that? Oh, Mrs. Hoof GP says she wouldn't have a gingerbread candle. We'd love to see you do an international trim off competition. <laughs> that would be quite good. Don't think the cows would enjoy it though. Uh, today, my sister's 75th birthday. Well, happy birthday. Time for my afternoon nap. Cheery bye. Nancy, I, guys, I am going to go in one or two more minutes and I'm going to get, get gone. You should do a live Q&A once in a while. I used to do them a lot. I used to do them once a month, every month. Um, just, I don't know, it's good to touch base, isn't it? And talk to you properly. I do try and talk to you in the comments below the videos, but I kind of lose track. Um, we get around 20 to 25,000 comments a month just now, so it's really hard to keep up with them, but we do try. This doesn't let me give hearts. I can feel it anyway, Teresa, don't worry. Uh, Scottish countryside, hoofs, good or bad, shops and restaurants in towns. Hey, I'm looking for an authentic Scottish coat and tam for my Westie Bailey. Any suggestions? No, sorry, don't know where to get one. Uh, you're still loving your truck. I hate it, Paul, absolutely hate it. Uh, it looks the part, it does, but don't buy one. Terrible truck. And um, the last one was fantastic, this one, nah, nada. I hope you have a wonderful and safe Christmas. Thank you very much, LRC. That's kind of you. How is a bigger cow than Miss O... Don't understand that one. I've been trying to find gingerbread something for Christmas. Not easy. It's not, is it, Cindy? Uh, I like this live. You have had a good day. Hope you've had a good day. Hope you will have a good day tomorrow. Me too. I don't start until about half past ten, so should be good. 
Ah, you're passionate love to you. Oh, thanks very much, Teresa. That's very kind of you. Yes, 812 is fantastic. Where to go on holiday in Scotland? Go to Aviemore in the winter. It's fantastic. Go to Edinburgh and travel around in the summertime because Edinburgh is awesome too. Ah, you need to buy an F-150 Ford. I couldn't buy an F-150 Ford. I'd have to buy an F-150 Ford Raptor. Otherwise, it would feel like a letdown. Um, I like things that are fast. Do you ever trim hairy coos? <laughs> yes, I do, Jane, <laughs> from time to time. Love your videos. Thank you very much. Gingerbread House making <laughs> video on GPs, everything. That is a good idea. I can make a gingerbread house, no problem. Do you have Instagram? Yes, I do. Go and check out Hoof GP on Instagram. I expect my followers, followers to go ping straight after this live. So go and check out Hoof GP on Instagram. You follow me daily there. I don't vlog during the weekends, but every day during the week, I you can follow me on Instagram throughout my day, telling you how I'm getting on, showing you cows, showing you what Craig's up to, and just talking. Is the gingerbread beard? Yeah. I think it is a ginger beard. That's a Scottish thing. We have dark hair and ginger beards. Right, guys, I am going to cut this short. I'm going to go now. Thank you very, very much for joining me. And I'll see it. My beautiful home. I love it. I really, really do. Um, and we are very, very proud and fortunate and lucky to have this. And YouTube is a big reason or part of the reason that we've got this. We have been saving for a long, long time and working very hard, but we do like it. Look, Mrs. <laughs> HCP is getting no makeup on. She's running away. I was trying to show her in the video. Um, right, guys, I am away. I keep saying that, but I actually am. Good night, folks. Thank you very, very much for joining me. There will be way more videos this week than any of the previous weeks because I am doing a little bit less work on the house and we'll have more time for the videos. So, for now, good night, goodbye, God bless, and sorry that YouTube mucked up my first video. Goodbye. <sighs>